Hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the Afterlife server. As you can see I'm in rather a strange little building. This is actually my, um, I guess you'd call it a mining shack. I bought some blue wool from uh, from Hubone's shop because my little blue sheep wasn't producing quite fast enough and uh, I've kind of made myself this little safety hole. It will eventually turn into like a proper building but at the moment I just needed somewhere that I could come and get out easily and go back to uh, my little desert base which is just over there. So I've got a little bed, I've got a little drop down into the mine with some water and also a drop to certain death which eventually will become a bubble vater but you know that's enough of that for now. Um, basically guys I've been working on several things. Uh, Buffing fish came and put this here. <laughs> Apparently this is signs of, uh, of alien life on the server. <laughs> it wasn't the only thing that he's left in this area though so obviously last time he left me a little present um, of some netherite and he also came by and wrote lol <laughs> in emeralds which is great so I now have a whole bunch of emeralds that I can use on my villagers. <laughs> what else I found out guys is I, I decided to get some animals ready in here. As you can see I've started to plan out where some of the buildings and things are gonna go. Now I grabbed myself a couple of animals and I was actually inspired by Azumavoid if any of you guys have seen his videos. I've been watching him for absolutely years and uh, he made this little animal pen and it turns out that chickens can't actually jump over um, these trap doors. I've also discovered that neither can villagers <laughs> or cows or sheep or pigs so the villagers kind of pathfinded their way into here and now they can't get out <laughs> so I'm just kind of gonna leave them there for now. Um, also you guys remember that the shulker box that I was given was just a regular colour but I actually decided to dye it blue because it's kind of themed with like the blue tiles in here and obviously it's now my handbag. <laughs> Now what we're going to be getting on with today is actually working on my chest storage which is this going to be this building just here with the chests kind of in this area and I've got a cool little design for it that kind of makes it fit in with I guess kind of like the the sort of city town that is here. Um, I've also got a couple more heads. I've got uh, Wintertooth over there and K uh, KB. So my head collection is growing. But anyway, before I get too distracted, uh, well, let's uh, let's skip on into a, a time lapse, guys, and build ourselves a little, uh, little chest storage. <laughs> finished yet because some of the details are kind of finangly but I thought we could do some of them together on camera. I've just realized that I forgot one thing that I was gonna do. I knew there was something that didn't quite look right about this and that's because these should be standstone walls. Oh yeah that looks much nicer and then we can get rid of these. I'm probably gonna trap a villager in here, not gonna lie, <laughs> um, so that they can be like a salesperson. Not sure what job they will have just yet but I've kind of deliberately designed a lot of these buildings so there's like a bit of open space in front of them so that we can have a lot of these like market stalls and things. I am gonna need some wool though. Well, I'm, uh, I don't really want to trap him in there. <laughs> as funny as that would be, I don't really want an iron golem in there. <laughs> now, obviously this has no roof just yet. The inside is almost finished. I need to get some more of those white glazed terracotta tiles to put there. And we've got no chests yet because all my stuff is over there and I need to move it. But like, I've got the sea lanterns. Unfortunately, I found out if you don't use a silk touch pick on sea lanterns, you get the prismarine crystals back, which made me very sad. But I've now got my netherite silk touch pick out 
out so we can actually do those kind of things. Now I've had to block off the staircase because uh, unfortunately one of the things that has been happening, whoopsie, did not mean to break that, uh, is that the iron golems and stuff when I was kind of designing this here decided to go for a wonder decided to go for a wonder and you can even see the little heads the little heads of some of the villagers that decided that they'd rather live in the ravine than in my lovely city so they can stay there <laughs> that is where they live now now what i've done is i've grabbed a ladder so that we can come up here and actually do let's maybe stick it on no no we'll stick it here because i've got to put stuff so we're gonna go up the ladder and then on the top here i'm gonna put some of these smooth uh sandstone slabs and then around the edges i'm gonna have some of this now it's gonna be a bit lower so i think it's about there so that that bit sticks up right that was not correct it does actually come up to the full height are you always gonna check your check your design now a lot of the guys on the server actually use this thing called lightmatica which is like I guess what it sounds like it's kind of like this thing that shows you like a transparent outline of your building so that you can actually have a go with it obviously I rely on screen caps and my faulty memory <laughs> to do a lot of these so I might check it out although I'm quite stubborn about you know just kind of switching between this and a and a screen cap of what I built in creative <laughs> but we'll see so that's the rim of the roof finished um this bit here kind of gave me a bit of trouble because I didn't want to have a block kind of blocking this bit in it but it didn't look right without that kind of mirrored on this side so what I'm actually going to do is just have it like floating <laughs> and maybe just hang a lantern from it so like from the top it all looks like symmetrical and I like this here because I want to have kind of almost like a landing pad for like if I want to fly in but I actually might leave this ladder here because it's quite fun to like launch myself off from here as well. Now to do the roof I brought over some leaf blocks and I thought I'd experiment with birch this time because I think that birch is one of those ones that's not biome dependent so you can just like put it anywhere so let's start from this side and do a couple of campfires and then let's try the birch leaves and see what they look like oh yeah they're still pretty green that's pretty good so i'm gonna finish this off let's put just a couple in place ready and then we'll have probably a couple that are like coming off the roof so that it looks like it's kind of growing and spreading around. That could be quite nice. Yeah, let's have it like high up like that as well. Oh yeah, I like that, I like that. And I probably will mix in a few oak leaves as well, just to kind of give it that like variety. Cause I don't mind the, the like less green texture. It just adds something to it. Um, but like not too much because otherwise it just looks like all your leaves are your leaves are dying <laughs> There we go It's looking pretty nice with all the leaf blocks and stuff on top of it I thought I'd come and take an aerial view so we could see what it's like and uh, Inside I've actually sorted out all of my chests and things which is making this place look really good really functional it only took me an hour and a half to do, so I need to do something different. I actually got a message from Puffing Fish because he has a little task that he wants me to do. But before we go, I actually thought I'd have a go at naming some of my tools as I've got like 23 levels. And I had a few ideas of my own. Now I always like to name things after songs. So because this is a silk touch pick, I'm gonna call it under pressure which is a song by david bowie and queen a nice little classic i don't have any ideas for most of it but i did see this one song i don't really care if it's a modern song or an old song because i thought this was really funny <laughs> bury a friend by billy eilish i remember when i heard that on the radio for the first time at like quite late at night when i was driving back from my boyfriend's old house and i was like what is this <laughs> it's not something you expect to hear on the radio but that's quite one and uh last but not least an old classic Coldplay song. Oh yeah. <laughs> right, let's head over to the shopping district and see what Puff has in mind. Kaffirs, I have a request, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> well, I gave you a gift and then I saw at the end of your video you said you might repay me with some building. Oh yes, thank you for the emeralds, by the way. I enjoyed the lol. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 that, that should be good. But I have, I think, something that... Well, I, I'm not the greatest builder. Follow me. Okay, I'm coming. 
So, I I have a lot of things to sell, but I don't really have a shop to sell them in. Okay. Um, and I need some assistance, or maybe just the building to be built for me. Okay. Um, for my items to be sold. So, I'm hoping that you could build me maybe a, you know, a shop where that beacon shop is. Um, oh, that over there. Yeah. That would be taken down. That whole area would be used. And it would be like a department store, like a modern department store type feel. Like a like a mall, like the Mall of America kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, I would have different shops of my own in there selling different things. Cool, cool. So do you want it like sectioned off then? So like if you go in, there's like you can like walk into like different shops. Kind of. I'd prefer actually a bit more of an open layout. Whoops, let me get on this one. Yeah, okay, so what, what do you think you could do for me there? Well, I could definitely build- modern building's not like my forte, but like I think I can definitely give it a shot. Um, I'm imagining quite a lot of kind of quartz and I guess like kind of like a cold corporate kind of <laughs> looking building with a lot of glass. Quartz, maybe some things. beacon chandeliers. Yeah, yeah, and... definitely. I'm, I'm thinking like for the beacon chandelier, if I was going to do something like that, it would be, you know, like sometimes malls like commission you know, like modern artists, and they're they're always like absolutely outrageously hideous. Like that's some that's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. You have to you have to trust. I I think I do. Um, but I feel like you know the gift isn't really enough for making an entire building. Um, I was thinking we could split the profits on a few uh a few of the items in the Ooh, shop. Ooh, yeah, no, I'd be up for that. What kind of items are you thinking? So. There's a lot of things I'm planning on selling, but there's a few that I'm going to need help with, um, and that is concrete and gravel and sand. Oh, yeah, okay. I definitely can do sand as I live in a desert, and gravel I could definitely do as well. Yeah, so basically I think uh, maybe we'll come up with the area to make one of those concrete makers at some point. Oh, yeah, cool, and... with, the, uh, with, the, with the doopy TNT thingy. Yeah, the explodies, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 boom, boom. And um, we might also go into more business later down the line. I know you can probably open your own stuff in that mall too. Cool, cool. Yeah, no, I, I've got a few ideas of things that I can sell that people might want. Yeah, so I think that could be a great project. So I, I think that's it. Awesome, let's shake on it. Oh, <laughs> nice. So, um... Yesterday, I was speaking to Puff, and obviously we were talking about, like, the shop that he wants, and I, I, after that, I just, you know, logged straight off and uh, and went to bed, and uh, now I appear to be in Kyle Blaine's base. I should probably explain slightly. Uh, we have this thing on the server, like, a plugin that when you log off, you, uh, you turn into a pig, and uh, your pig can't die, but it can be led around by a lead, and suspiciously, I seem to have a lead in my inventory, which means that someone, Kyle Blaine, led me over here. This is further, further <laughs> corroborated by Kaffers is here. Now, I sh <laughs> I've been leaving signs around the server that say Kaffers was here, and I left one here because I, I used Kyle's bed, which I'm about to do in a minute, again, and uh, he obviously has changed this because, because I am here. That's correct. I'm going to sleep in your bed again, Kyle. This is not over. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Wouldn't you like to know? Right, while I'm waiting for Puffing Fish to come online so we can get building, I thought I'd come back over to the shopping district and actually do a bit of shopping and a little bit of debt repaying as well because I still owe people quite a few diamonds. Luckily, however, I have managed to do a bit of mining and I also died in the nether on the way here, which is why I now have iron armor because I realized my armor situation is not good. The skeleton just like one shot me <laughs> and I died. So there goes all my levels. So I'm going to get myself a decent piece of armor and a few other bits and pieces as well just to kind of tide me over for what I need. First things first, I need to pay back Jay. I left him this little, little IOU. Oh, 20 diamonds is so painful. But I've been doing a lot of mining and I've got there in the end, so... Oh, so sad. 
And you only need, oh yeah, two blocks. Two blocks is 18. <laughs> I can do maths. There you go, Jay. And uh, as I've purchased it now, I, I, I get a free thing. So I'm gonna take these. <laughs> these protection three leggings will do me just fine. One of the other things I wanted to grab while I was here was one of these armor stand books. Ooh, cool, by Stick God. Uh, because I wanted to play around with the invisible item frames. Here we go, item frames. Oh, yes, that's so cool. That's gonna be really useful for doing like building stuff with. I'm kind of doing a little bit of scouting as well because I've had an idea for a, like my first shop. It's a nice easy one, something I can do really well. And uh, I need a good place for it. I could put it next to the mall actually that we're gonna end up building over here. And that way um, Puff and I can kind of keep track of each other's businesses. But I'll have a little think about that. Now, what else do I need? I need boots. Ouch, exactly. That's why I need boots. Now obviously Jay sells armor and stuff that's usually enchanted, but I thought I'd give this shop a little bit of patronage. So this is three diamonds, so you save one diamond. And actually I can get on breaking three, which is not too bad. So let's go pay for this. Uh, here we go. Uh, how many diamonds was it? One, two, three. There we go. So a nice cheap pair of boots for me and a little bit of sale whoever owns this shop. Almost forgot, but I also need to pay back KB because uh, I borrowed some of his rockets the last time that I died. Right, let's get rid of the IOU. And because it's, I only took one stack, so I'm gonna take another stack and then I'm gonna pay the one diamond. There you are, sir, all paid back. I've taken my IOUs. Uh, I'll probably end up having to use them again for something. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is just wait for Puffing Fish and uh, we're gonna get on with his shopping mall. Right guys, that is all we've got time for today, I'm afraid. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. And thank you to Puffing Fish, you dropped off all the things that I needed to make it. I only just managed to do it, and I spent a few diamonds to get a few things that we didn't have, but hopefully this place will make enough diamonds that we can make all of that back. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.